DJ Lagway, quarterback, six foot two, two fifteen, five star. Wow, capital wow, definitely filled out. Has a presence about him. I think recruiting is such a hard thing, and it's fun, but but you know you you get where you hear a lot of things, but you hear that from a lot of people. Well, as a quarterback, it's mental. It's such a hard mental game. If you want to go somewhere where they can develop you, you're not going to be as good your freshman year and be the same your junior year or senior year. You want to get better and better and better. Every single clip here, he's been moving. He's very mobile. Some compare Lagway to Deshaun. For example, if he wants to be great as a quarterback, he got to go work his ass off. You got to work. You can't just sit here and say, okay, I'm taking all these pictures. Now, now, you know, if, if you want to be Deshaun Watson, you want to be Trevor Lawrence, or you want to be Tua, I mean, you know, they came in and went to work. You, recruiting has completely changed, right? Recruiting in college football is completely different now than it ever was before. The relationship is still going to win you the commitment. But uh, but I'm curious your thoughts on the people that are bashing all these NIL deals. Look, the kids are going to make money, and I don't think it changes anything about recruiting. I think this is, if you got it, why would you not use it? I still right? don't think that that matters. Everybody's got money. Everybody's spending money. The recruits are still going where they think they can do the best job. We've seen guys that were, you know, you're the, you're the number one quarterback in your class and you're leaving and you're going to go play in a system where that last year they recruited the number one quarterback in the class. 
and next year they recruit the number one quarter. Like, you're just ring chasing, man. Like, yeah. you're, you're, they're four deep at your position, and, and you're going to play at that school. Like, how is this, how is going to play for money any different than that? That you know will best develop, right? Like, if you're in the past, you were going to the place that you knew could get you to the NFL. And that's that's what a lot of them are still doing. But it's it's all very much the same thing. Awesome. What's up with you, man? Good, good to doing? see you again, bro. Good to see you. It's like, how, how the hell are you doing? I'm doing good. Boy, you look great. How you, you look great. How you doing? Good yes, sir. Thanks for having me. How you doing, Coach? What's up? James, man. DJ. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. DJ, good How to see you again, good brother. See you. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Good? Yes, sir. I'm doing good. What's up, bro? How you doing? Good. Hey, hey, man. Nice hey, man. Coach Grush, my coach receiver okay, here, Okay, nice to meet good you, Good to see DJ. you, man. Yes, sir. We got some guys. How you doing, Charles? How you doing, man? How you doing? doing okay? Yes, sir. I'm doing good. Watch it on tape, man. Appreciate it. I ha- I've, had, I've, had two, I've had two people that have been on ESPN. Derek. And then when we played Herschel Walker when I was at Vanderbilt, he, he, he was on there against us for about 25 years. Okay. That's Chanel. Chanel, DJ. DJ. How you doing? Oh, sorry. Okay. Welcome in. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean- okay. But they're like my all-time favorite. Joseph and Okay. Go! Not doing it, so hey, man, nice to see you again. 24. Number. Number. Yeah, so we uh, yeah. one matchup, throw it up to him. You get pressure one on one, take a shot to him. Oh, so y'all, y'all, y'all do one big team workout? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, I feel on Twitter, y'all. That oh, yeah. Yeah, DJ. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, bro? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. What are you, uh, you still got a while until you decide? Or yeah. You, yeah. I'm not really rushing it? Yeah, nah. That's good. There's no need to rush. Appreciate it. Play the piano. You got a play still? Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, you did. Good, man. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Hey, what's up? How are you? Back in the nineties, mid nineties. Yeah, I love me some Houston now. Little son, little son. Entire life, right? Because even if you go off to the NFL, how long do you think NFL longevity typically is? Not that long. Take a guess. About three to five years. Exactly, right? What happens after that? You gotta have something to do, right? Yes, so, ma'am. even with your academics here, I'm sure I talked to you about that before. Academics is a huge part of that, right? So, you're in the top 3% in the country. I think it's actually top 5%, but we're up there with Duke, right? Now, we have an amazing football program. We're also amazing off the field. Oh, y'all got a ball out? Let me check it out. Oh, this law. Balance is You only for our players to come in here whenever they want, hang out, kick it. And yes, they do actually come in here and duke it out. I've, I've seen it live. And also, we have the PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch. So, all the incoming games, mm-hmm. we get them here, right? Okay. One thing I will say about Clemson if we don't have it, we'll we get don't it. get it, all right? Player number one. No, ma'am. Do you know how to go? No, ma'am. I don't either. It's okay. <laughs> Over here, we have all of our retired numbers throughout the years. CJ Spiller is actually our most recent retired number, and he's also on our staff. He's our running backs coach here at Clemson. You're probably going to see him around today, too. Okay. All right. So, this is our current locker room. Fun fact about it, it's not going to be here after this season. Oh, really? Surprise, Shia. <laughs> All right, How you so doing? You probably, yeah. 
Hey, I'm a <laughs> uh, I work with video. I used to play play here from uh, 91 to 95. Areas, massage tables, bod pod, UV, you name it, we're gonna have it. It's set up by your positions. You have your wide receivers, QBs on this side. Most of your defense is gonna be on this side going all the way back. But the one at the facility is more set up to be more of a team, right? So mm -hmm. if you're number two, you can be on two on defense, two on offense, which all be side by side. Yeah. That way you can build a culture, right? Because if I always see you, if I ever talk to you, do I really know you? There's some construction out here as well. Surprise. Um, so it may be a little louder. Let's see if I get the right door right this time. So that we got to train because we don't want the first time on the hill <laughs> to fall on national TV. That would be tragic. That would be really tragic. And I'm sure you probably laugh like I know her. Yeah. So, how embarrassing. So. This one, wow. I want to see that heel feel like. God, look at that heel, crazy. Let's see if I can get on here, get up there. Oh, 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 that boy's Steve for real. I'm Dave Roberts. I'm a former football coach. I was the head coach at Baylor, where I coached Derek Lagway. I was the head coach at Western Kentucky, and I was the head coach at Northeast Louisiana, which is Louisiana Monroe. John, if in case there's a pair that needs to be sold on DJ Lagway that's saying, all right, maybe he wants us, why do we want him? What sets this guy apart as one of the top one or two quarterbacks in the state of Texas in the class of 24? Well, as I mentioned, huge breakout year in 2021. If you just go by the numbers, unbelievable touchdown to interception ratio, accounted for more than 20 scores against just two interceptions. So there's a little bit of maturity in his game that's on display already. But really uh, where he you know, breads his butter is when you turn the tape on. I mean, this is an electric quarterback recruit. I was the head coach at Baylor for a short period of time. And one of my favorite players of 35 years of coaching. And so uh, it was fun to reconnect with him after 20 years. And he called me from Notre Dame and he said, I'm standing here with Derek Lagway. I said, I'll put him on the phone. And I talked and it just so happens that Derek's son is uh, uh, maybe the best quarterback or one of the top two quarterbacks in the country as a sophomore in that class. He's got, uh, great skills as a quarterback. And so athletically, he's as gifted as anybody in America. And then as my wife said, when you sit down and you talk to Derek, and then you talk to his son, DJ's just like Derek, very humble, very, very classy, coachable, likable young man. And as for a quarterback, I think that's very important and, and then just very team oriented. It's Greenville, which is a huge city. Plenty of to do where you go one hour south, you're in Georgia. So you got plenty of options. What is it? You got no issues on the field, no issues off the field, she's standing, you're good to go. So you need to stay here, all four years from where guys do, and for other classes that do that, we'll give them the entire space to themselves. Oh, <laughs> Still enjoying high school, man. Oh, it's nice back here. It's nice, look. So. Yeah. Okay. I like, I like English. It's cool. Sorry. Right. Yeah. A bit. Spring is the residential. 
you know, stuff for like yep. the dorms and stuff like that. And after that, it's athletic. athletic. There's a right answer. I don't think there is. Shree, what'd you say? Hey. Huh? What'd no. you say? No. no. She says no. I say no. Nah. No. No. Because like, if what you, you got? say yes, I'm like, yes. what? Thanks, Chanel. We'll see you in a bit. Oh, look, look, look at the jurors up there, boy. Look at the Montana jurors. Coach, you're going to have to hook me up with one of these jurors, Coach. Oh, I'll get you one. Come on. Look, look at that. Come on. Okay. Let me show you upstairs. Yeah, that's... What you want to do upstairs. He, he, at his office, that's all he got is jurors. Yeah. There's a lot of coach. George Rogers won the high school and Marcus Lattimore. Okay. These are my guys that. Louisiana. James Folson played nine years with the Raiders. Spikes was a tailback with uh, Dolphins. Wiggum was all pro with the Bears and Patriots. Sean King was with the Panthers. Okay. When I got in the Hall of Fame down there. Yes, sir. He was Rookie of the Year, first round draft choice for the Saints. That's Danny Ford who won the national championship at Clemson. These are Hall of Fame players. That's Joe Montana. That's the old Green Bay Packers with Bart Starr. That's the old Washington Redskins. Pretty in here, isn't it? Darn. Nice to see you this morning. Yes, everyone. This recruiting stuff wears you out. Yes, I know I'm worn out. I, I, I said, geez. Thank you. Yeah. We can sit at the table over there, but I guess I don't know what they got. Have a good day. Hey, you guys. Enjoy. We got to unplug them. How you doing, Dick? We park. You get you guys to lean in and help pull the boat in. Okay. Get this sticker on here. How you doing? Good job. Good job. Get all the way here safe. There's a life jacket. Hold on to it. You don't have to put it on, but hold on to it. All right. Graduation. All right. Uh, In-state quarterbacks, out-of-state quarterbacks. You know, some people play just in-state quarterbacks, and so I think that was important. I put wide receivers, who's got the best wide receiver group? Because as a, as a quarterback, there's three or four times a game, somebody got to go make a play. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're, not, you're, you're, you're not gonna, you, you're gonna have to throw the ball up where in high school, you, you do a lot there. You, you got to throw it up and somebody got to make a play. And, and, and who's, got, who's got those? Because if you throw five up, and you catch two, you flip the field, and you're in the you're in the All American category. But if you don't have anybody to catch it, and those are the questions. Now here's <coughs> here's here's what you got to work out. Second, I think. All right. Number one, number one. I think. Thank you.